Doing the most good, that's what everybody wants to achieve. Whether if that is doing the most good for one's own self, one's company, or one's own personal goals. Arguably, the most important one is doing the most good for others. And there is one group, organization, teacher, church, and charity that lives this to the core of doing the most good for others. That is the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army is all around the world in about 125 different countries, all with the same goal across language borders, regions, and political boundaries, to help others and do the most good. Like with every great establishment, there is a start point. And with the Salvation Army, it starts with a man named William Booth. William Booth was a young man living in London, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to anyone that would listen, directly on the cobblestone streets of London in 1852. Booth was first a Methodist, but he was more engaged in direct gospel preaching than he was preaching in the Methodist church. He found a disconnect between the people and the words. He left the Methodist Church in 1865 and focused directly to those most vulnerable, the poor. Some of the first to be converted to Christianity were prostitutes, gamblers, drunkards, who found the light through Booth's messages. He led his recent followers and shared his and their stories to anybody willing to listen. He became the salvation to many people, but he didn't just come up with a salvation army from nowhere. It was from a book. The Christian Mission, published in 1878. In the book, a line stated that the Christian Mission was formed from a voluntary army, but Booth adapted this to say the Salvation Army. From this point on, the message of aid, helping others, spread across London, Europe, across the sea to North America and South America, to eventually the entire world. The Salvation Army is a different kind of army that serves to the core ideology of hope. In 1906, when San Francisco had their massive earthquake that killed thousands of people, the Salvation Army was there. The Salvation Army spent their entire budget for the year to aid those who were affected by the earthquake in San Francisco. Sadly, Booth's life came to an end in 1912, where a ceremony brought thousands to honor his work. Just because Booth's life came to an end did not stop the movement of the Salvation Army. Two years after his death, World War I had begun, and the U.S. got involved in 1917. While the U.S. Army was sending soldiers, the Salvation Army was sending soldiers as well, but a different kind of soldier. Soldiers of relief, comfort. The Salvation Army sent women under the order of Eva Booth to give hope, comfort, food, and to act as a home for these young soldiers overseas. These brave women were known as the Donut Girls, buddies and mothers. They used leftover supplies that were not being used effectively, like flour, sugar, and butter, to make donuts. While the Donut Girls have stopped their service, the Salvation Army has not. The Salvation Army continues to increase their aid in local communities all over the world. While I could spend hours researching the Salvation Army, the best way to learn is to physically go to the Salvation Army and learn from them. This is exactly what I did. I traveled to the Salvation Army in Caldwell, Idaho to get a hands-on experience of who the Salvation Army are. Well, that was my initial plan. I was not able to directly interview some of the majors in person because of current events. So I improvised and did an online call where I began my journey learning about the current Salvation Army. I interviewed Major Robin, who is the commanding officer of the Salvation Army in Caldwell, Idaho. I started my online team's interview with a simple question. Who is the Salvation Army? The Salvation Army is an international movement that is an evangelical part of the Universal Christian Church. Its message is based on the Bible. The ministry is motivated by the love of God. Its mission is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in His name without discrimination. 
So that's who we are, that's what we do, and we've been doing it for 153 years in over 128 countries of the world. Well, thank you. Can you please introduce yourself and your relationship that you have with the Caldwell Salvation Army? Hi, my name is Major Robin Briggio. I am an officer who serves at the uh, Salvation Army in Caldwell, Idaho. What do you do as an officer at the Salvation Army? Well, in the Salvation Army, um, they allow husband and wives to work together. In fact, they encourage it. I work with Major Stephanie, and we've been doing this together for 19 years. Um, it's an amazing uh, opportunity to work with my best friend every day. We serve in Canyon County um, for half, half of the county, and Nampa serves the other half of the county. And we are we take care of utilities. Um, we take care of food boxes. We help people um, that are running low on food to make it through the month. Um, we've got character building programs and all kinds of different things that we do on a regular basis. We work with kids in music and the arts, and we just try to give kids a, kind of like a, a hand up. We, instead of a handout, how can we help them make a step forward in their life? What particular programs do you offer for these youth in particular? We have a program called Troops, which is very similar to scouting. Um, it's just the Salvation Army's version of it. Um, the badges are all parallel to uh, what you can earn in Boy Scouts. Um, and the kids learn all kinds of life skills. One of my favorite ones that we get to do is partner with the community. And uh, Bernil Tires just down the street from us um, allowed us to bring a group of boys there one day and teach them how to change tires, how to change the oil. They got to use the air gun to take the, the little bolts off and stuff. And I came back and showed the girls and the girls were like, we want to learn too. So they set up a different day and we went there and, and they got to learn some life skills. Um, but they get to learn a lot of social skills. We have them sit uh, for dinner. We feed them dinner every week and they sit in a family style dinner and they have to learn how to pass, you know, ask for things politely and to, you know, will you please pass this and pass that. And um, they're learning a lot of life skills. Um, a lot of the kids that we have, they're very high energy. Um, they um, don't sit still well. So the more hands-on learning we can do, um, the better for them. And it's just something that we really enjoy. Alongside Major Robin is Major Stephanie. The two of them work in unison to support and provide to the local community of Caldwell. I also had the opportunity to interview her as well. And I started off by asking her, how did she get into the Salvation Army? My parents are Salvation Army officers, so I was very familiar with what the Salvation Army did. And my husband and I at the time were working in North Carolina at a children's home. And um, we were at a beautiful place where we took the kids to Disney World, everywhere. They had everything. Um, but really what the kids wanted more than anything was to be with their parents, no matter what their parents had done to them or allowed um, to be done to them. These kids just wanted to have a family, their own flesh and blood. And so my husband and I just kind of looked at who the Salvation Army is and what they do. And we just felt like that was the most sensible vehicle for us at the time to get involved with, to help keep families intact. So, um, what type of programs does the Salvation Army offer? So we offer the basic services of food, shelter, um, clothing, utility assistance here, but educational programs are huge. Um, education is the key out of poverty. And so for us, educating parents, preventing child abuse, providing diapers, providing basic needs um, for new moms, that's exactly how we're reaching the community here because we've found statistically um, that that's what's most needed. Major Stephanie has a few special programs that are provided by the Salvation Army in Caldwell. One of these programs is called Baby Haven, which helps mothers learn how to teach their children and how to be a mother. The Baby Haven program was started 11 or 12 years ago by Michelle Edmonds from Channel 6 um, here. and. It is an incentive-based program. And so we don't just give stuff out to anyone, the moms have to earn it. And so they earn points towards purchasing items in our boutique by going um, to well baby visits, going to the YMCA, the library, counseling sessions, all kinds of healthy behaviors. And so by coming to class, they also earn points so they can shop in our boutique and they're able to buy whatever they need for their children. Baby Haven Boutique is so fun and so cute. So we have new baby clothes, used baby clothes, diapers, wipes, formula, high chairs, baby monitors, you name it. Whatever you need for a baby, 
so the moms can get what they need. The Salvation Army strives to help the most amount of people possible within the limits of their resources. If you are wanting to help in any way, please visit thesalvationarmy.org. If you would like to support the Salvation Army in Caldwell, please go to caldwell.salvationarmy.org. For over 125 years, the Salvation Army has been around. They have had one goal, doing the most good by helping others. The Salvation Army will continue to do so for the future generations to come. A special thanks to Major Robin and Major Stephanie from the Salvation Army in Caldwell for giving me the opportunity to interview them.